So you want to create a combat system perfectly suited for fights between one strong protagonist and many much weaker foes. Your main protagonist can Jiki Chan throw people around, can dynamically avoid and or parry incoming attacks from several different angles, has a dynamic set of finishers and conditional environmental moves, and is able to pilot this all with merely one direction input and two or three fighting inputs while not even controlling camera movements. You want free flow combat system. Many games use it by now, but I feel, when confronted and asked what is a free flow combat system, most of the people will probably say something similar to, well, it's like in Batman games. If we will actually start to pursue the definition, it appears that it's not that easy to find that exact one thing that makes your combat into a free flow combat system. Is it a special crowd behavior algorithm that allows you to have a fight 1 vs 10 on paper while having at most a fight 1 against 2 in reality? Well, no, such fight directors for crowd of enemies predate free flow systems and can be found in games from 90s. Maybe it's the ability to actively beat the shit out of someone while being able to simultaneously evade and or parry some incoming hit from a side enemy? Well, no, such systems also existed before and can be found in the most unexpected places, mostly games about fencing your way out from 1vx situations. Maybe it's an ability to use epic finishes and also switch them depending on environment and other context. Well, you can have both finishers without context, as in Skyrim, environmental attacks like in Hitman, or even environmental finishers like in Deus Ex, if I remember correctly, but none of those systems is free flow. Maybe it's the combo multiplier that grows and grows if you sustain a perfect sequence of parries, counterattacks and timed hits. Well, there are functional 2D fighting games with timed combos, parries and strikes multipliers, but by no mean they are free flow as well, right? Maybe free flow is that we literally have an infinite flow of action with our protagonist generating more and more different attacking moves and mixing them indefinitely. Mm, that's kinda just having a lot of assets and have them nicely blended. It's not that combat system itself. Maybe it's an ability to use and advance some very branched combo line of bazillion animations independently of an enemy, switching them in the process and not disrupting your combo. Well, much closer. Here is a short video on YouTube making fun of a Batman game, a minute of recorded gameplay showing the slincher hop around from one enemy to another, and each time an attack command is inputted, <laughs> this poster with a button X appears. So, this encounter on the screen is certainly a free flow combat example, but it pretty much can be played with one button, so what component is really responsible for the whole thing being a free flow combat unit? This is a place where some people may disagree with me. You might have your opinions. But I would limit free flow combat system definition to a smart auto-targeting system that uses information from all other layers of your combat system logic to formulate a suitable target for any of players' inputted actions. Simply calling force to attack by one once in a while is not a free flow system, it is a crowd attacking director, but what makes so when you have a parryable four around and your parry input automatically selects that enemy to be parried or counterattacked, this is the free flow combat system. Being able to execute graphic finishers with environment is not free flow, it's environmental awareness, but the system that automatically makes it so you select the four that is finishable by environment, this is the free flow combat. Simply having whatever rules about combo progressing modifiers and all those juicy counters in the corner of the screen is not a free flow component. Free flow component is the thing that will provide you the next target for your sexy combo progression in such a way it won't be paused if you killed it or simply stopped to beat down one concrete enemy of many. Free flow combat is a target choice integration mechanic. Many games use it by now, and they are allowed to use completely different combat systems, combinations, mechanics, etc. For us, it means that the whole quotes free flowing thing can probably be a nicely encapsulated model that integrates into your already existing combat almost seamlessly. I have actually recorded a video about complex and branched combo system creation. All I need to do is to dust it off a little because our current setup knows two attacks. What is a little bit underwhelming for a combat system designed for cinematographic fights of 1 vs 3, am I right? 
So what that video achieved is we had a branched graph of attacks we were able to navigate inputting either light or heavy attack command. And in summary, we were able to generate eight attack sequences. Those were put as my standard attack move scene. And my standard attack move scene is able to track the input direction from the player, creating a somewhat dynamic combat environment. And our first step is to teach our attacks to forget about their ability to track input direction and instead to track the target provided by the free flow module. Never destroy, open close principle, blah blah blah, so instead of trying to hijack existing attacking move, I would better create another air of move class that just will be very similar. Here it is, as you can see the structure is almost the same as our casual attack. The differences are we don't process input vector, because our directional work comes from having a target Target we attack currently, and then on enter state we just ask our free flow system to provide a suitable target for attacking. The rest is trivial. In our update cycle we make sure three things are happening. We turn towards the target, for which we use the angular velocity export field we already have. We move our player with animation's root motion data, and we manage our sort attacking collider activation to actually hit something. To manage targeting process I have created another layer called free flow combat. I then made it update the target before our most transition. The algorithm for target updating is also trivial. We have an input vector, or if not, we use character face direction. We have a bunch of targets in the world that are marked as free flow target by a group. Then what we essentially do is we do a classical minimum search algorithm, and the parameter we measure is the angle between input direction and the target. Target with minimal angle is selected. As you can see, I also filter them here by distance. This way we can ignore targets that are too far away. In real game, you will probably have a bunch of filters installed here. For example, Batman, I believe, doesn't attack targets that are alive but knocked down. And of course, dead targets probably need to be filtered out also. Now, for Witcher 3 such a setup was enough, but Batman had a bunch of moves gap closing him to enemies. Let's try to do it. Add an expert group in our new attack move. It will be responsible for our speed manipulations. Here we can set if the move is a gap close and its original length. Now. On enter we write down the gap closing coefficient. This thing essentially is a multiplier to the speed we get from the root motion data. For shits and giggles I made all these attacks into gap closes. As you can see we progressively look more and more free flowy. Of course, none of my assets was made with an idea of using it as a gap close and they look bullshitty but most gap closing animations are some sort of leaps or slides. In more polished approach those animations will have some unmodifiable starter, then a leap zone that is heavily modified to reach the target, and then connect and is out are again not modified and played as is. And this description sounds very similar to… right. It is a boolean interval. And we know what to do with them. Make a track in backend animation, now with your animation player navigate where your quotes leap starts, then navigate where it ends. I have no leaps and I just took an interval where my sword actually moves, so I kinda fly with it like some boss from 2005 Korean slasher. Of course, cringeworthy because of bad assets, but my systems are for 90% in place. If I would need a free flow system in my game, it will look like this. One encapsulated model providing targets, an actual free flow mechanism. And then an attacking move scene that can represent any attack is defined by export fields and works with the target provided by free flow direction model. With this structure I can progressively add additional combat rules. For example, for a setup where the crowd of enemies is attacking you one by one, the attacking one is always the parry target. I can either inherit or compose this attack once more to form a parry and move. That will be all the same, but on enter will ask not for a target to attack, but for a target to parry. Or for environmental finishers I can invent a new type of attack that will do all the same, but it will request for a suitable target for environmental finisher, etc. Thanks for watching, feel free to ask anything here or in my Discord server. By the way, this mid-series video is selected by voting inside the oligarchy class of patrons who support the channel. If you like the solution, thank these wonderful people, or even join them if you want to vote in some of your personal interests.